independent filmmaker Eliache Kimaru is a mixed-race first-generation American. She uses video to address social justice issues, bringing stories of struggle, resistance, and survival to a broader audience. Uh, VOA's Paul Ndio recently spoke with Kimaru about her directorial debut. The movie started when I, um, uh, I was starting to think about having a kid. and uh, My parents are an interracial couple. My dad is from Tanzania. My mom is from Korea. And when I started thinking about having kids, I'm also in an interracial couple. And uh, I realized uh, I was trying to think about this, this cultures, these cultures that I was going to be passing down to my, my child. And what were they? And what were they about? And I grew up surrounded by my mom's side of the family, the Korean side of the family. So I felt pretty sure, I felt pretty, I didn't need to go looking for those roots so much. But my dad's side of the family on Mount Kilimanjaro felt much more remote. And I didn't know what it was about. So I decided I was going to go on this journey to film what Chaga culture is all about so that I knew what I was going to be passing down to my kids. And of course, once you go searching, <laughs> there's no telling what you might find. And what I, is it that you found? I learned a lot about what is beautiful about my, um, the Chaga culture. I found out a lot of information about our songs and our dances and our ritual and our folklore and about our traditional healing practices. I did get all of that. That's what I went looking for. Um, and in my head growing up, that's what culture was all about. But of course, to everyone at home, there's no, like, when I talk about culture and can you show me what Chaga culture is all about, there, it doesn't, it, it's almost meaningless because of course, it's not about culture to them. It's about just their real lived lives and how they go about their their day to day life. In the movie, you show a little bit of uh, 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 your dad meeting uh, the parents and w what transpired later on. Uh, maybe could you maybe speak to that? I love her. There cannot be any ifs or buts, right? Then, what made you so uh, sure uh, that I then, loved you? I'm talking about my views. Okay. <laughs> then, then enter, enter the family. When I first told them that I had a serious boyfriend, they were delighted, so they wanted to know what his background was and so on. So I gave them the, the entire la-di-da, you know, PhD student in economics, Rockefeller, scholar and so forth, one more year to go. They were very happy. I told them the name Kimaro and they thought, Japanese? I said, no, East African. And that's when alarm bells went off. And out of nowhere, she told me that I've been summoned to Washington. Both families had a tough time with it, and both families ultimately came around because they saw that mom and dad were very in love, and they already had a kid, and so they were pretty quick to jump on board. Anytime you talk about uh, interracial marriages or interracial couples, uh, it's a complicated subject. Uh, but uh, watching your movie, I'm sure there are some takeaway uh, lessons. What is the one thing that you can point out that maybe that has changed ever since uh, you came out with uh, this uh, movie uh, to you personally and maybe to the people who are involved in this process. This film has really, starting with my aunts, has called out the truth in all of us. And what it has shown me when I was sitting in the hut with my aunts and they were sharing their stories about the truth about their stories about how they got married and about their experiences of female genital mutilation or female genital cutting. Um, what really became apparent to me in that moment was uh, the power of bearing witness to another person's suffering, another person's truth telling, and how that can liberate them from a lifetime of pain. My aunts in that moment asked me, now that we've shared our stories with you, what are you going to do about it? And in that moment, they were calling me out to do what they had just done. It wasn't cr criminal activity. It wasn't violence, uh, but it's a way of getting married. I find it very hard um, because I think it's one thing when people take shortcuts to marriage by consent, but when it is forced on a girl and she might absolutely hate the man who does that to her. What I've learned, I think, is the power of personal storytelling. We see the transformation that happens with my aunts when they, they find their truth and they find the words to speak their truth and tell me their stories in the hut. You know, they hadn't even told each other as sisters. 
they hadn't even shared their stories of, of abuse and the really the details of how they got married. Um, and you see the transformation that happens in them as human beings over the course of the movie, just in the course of that interview.